You know, I'd heard I was all over the country. I saw every state but two. I've been in big planes. I've been in teeny planes. Teeny planes are the planes that they say to you there are no restrooms and no food service. And so take care of it before you get on the plane. I have been in communities that are emerging and exciting, or communities that are just stagnating. I have seen it all. But you know, it's really interesting about the attitude a community takes about itself. And that's why you're so important today, because communities that all of a sudden have reasons not to do something always go no place. It is the communities that have the guts, the innovation, the aspiration to just set course. And that's why people love coming here. That's why I love coming back. I mean, I used to tell people I want to go back to a place that has a can-do spirit, that takes risks, that's going to be innovative and imaginative and take off. And that's why you're here. I mean, the reason why people are moving here and why you rank in the top 10 communities in the United States for attracting people who have high education backgrounds is the quality of our life. It's just the quality of life. We got parks, got playgrounds, we're gonna save Puget Sound, we save forests, we save farmlands, we save open space. Now is the time to accelerate. It is not the time to say, let's take a pause. You know, when you're faced with a challenge, you don't slow down, you speed up. We want to be the most remarkable place in the world. We are the best place to live, in my opinion, in the world, particularly when it's 80 or 90 degrees. But nonetheless, we are still the best place in the world with a high quality of life. And it is time that we all of a sudden say in this room today that we're not going to stop. We're not going to be turned around. We're not going to go backwards. We're going to accelerate. We are going to be on the world's radar screen as a place that creates the best quality of life. And we can do it. When you say you can't, you end up like Chicago. Gary, Indiana, the places that you go to and you say, why would you live here? <laughs> now, I couldn't say that when I was in the hood. I had to say, oh, I love this place. I am not there anymore. <laughs> I am not there. I can tell you that you're so special. You're so extraordinary. You're so great. So act like it. Act like it. When you are the leader of the class, you don't slow down for somebody to catch up. You decide to set a pace that is so aggressive and so strong that people have to catch up. You know, in a country that needs a role model so badly, so badly, a community that works so badly, a community that's got its act together and is weaving things together so they can be extraordinary, this is the only community I know capable of doing that. I have seen them all. Some are resting on their reputations, but others create the momentum for a nation to act as it should, to be extraordinary. So you're not here today to invest, because I'm gonna ask the table captains to do that. This coalition, the Washington Wildlife and Recreation Coalition is so special, and all of you in this room are so special. But I do not want you to slow down ever. I don't want you to stop. I don't want you to be normal. I don't want you to be average. I don't want you to be like everybody else. I have a granddaughter, and she is perfect. Yes, she is. <laughs> and I tell people, she says that magic word, grandpapa, and I say the magic word, yes. <laughs> and when my son protested that I gave her ice cream and cake for breakfast, I said, yes, I did. He said, you didn't allow us to do that. And I said, but I'm not raising her. <laughs> but Amina is entitled to a world better than mine. She's entitled, as will her peers and her children, after she is 35 years of age. <laughs> to see a salmon run beautifully. The orchids and the sound, forests, grasslands. She's entitled to see magnificent facilities for her children to play in, to walk on beaches, to smell beautifully fresh salt water, to see freshwater lakes that are teeming with fish, to see wildlife, 
to see the eagles and the ospreys and the hawks, to put up with the nuisance of seagulls. <laughs> I won't say pigeons. <laughs> I want her to see it in an abundance. And that's what this coalition does. So you're not investing in tomorrow. You are investing, as Han said, in a 1,000 years. She will be one day. I want her to look to me and look at this old man she calls Grandpapa and say that the most talented generation in the history of humankind did it right. My grandfather left South Carolina because he dreamed for his son and his daughter. And his daughter was on the team that invented the transistor. And his son went to Lincoln University because they had quotas at Princeton. My father was able to say that he sent three young men to college. Dreams. Dreams. So I just want you to dream. Just dream. Not small ones extraordinary ones and that requires us to sacrifice to say what's important and what's important is the land and air and water and recreation around us that's what's important that's what will make the difference in the high quality of life my granddaughter is entitled to so I want to wish you all peace and prosperity I don't want you to be Thinking small, think big. I don't want you to dream small, dream big. And I want you to say, yep, it looks impossible, and I want you to achieve it. Because only never, ever, ever, Mr. Ruckel's house established the EPA when everybody said, who they sh should they exist? No, they shouldn't. And he said, I'm going to make the EPA something extraordinary. And everybody in that room would not let him down. They clapped, and they clapped, and they clapped, and they clapped for a person who made the impossible achievable. So I want all of you to be the Teddy Roosevelt's, and the Bill Ruckels houses, and the Dan Evans, and the Mike Lowry's, and the Val Ogden's, and the Dan Ogden's, and the Joan Thomas's who dreamed dreams and made the impossible achievable. Peace and prosperity. Table captains go out and see whether or not people are going to give just a little more, just a little more, so that my granddaughter will say there was a generation that made the impossible achievable. Peace and prosperity to all of you.